वेलकम टू आवर चैनल ई आर एम एन टेक अ डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर ऑल टेक्निकल नॉलेज टूडे आई विल एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द इलेक्ट्रिकल कंड्यूट सिस्टम गाइज इलेक्ट्रिकल कंड्यूट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल सी वॉट इज इलेक्ट्रिकल कंड्यूट इलेक्ट्रिकल कंड्यूट इज अ ट्यूब यूज टू प्रोटेक्ट एंड रूट इलेक्ट्रिकल वायरिंग इन अ बिल्डिंग और स्ट्रक्चर बेसिकली इलेक्ट्रिकल कंड्यूट इज अ प्रोटेक्ट ऑफ वायर एंड इट इज द रूट ऑफ द वायर so electrical conduit made up of metal plastic fiber fired clay in this image you can understand this is the conduit guys types of conduit now we will see the types of conduit we have seven type of conduit first one is electrical metal tubing emt rigid metal conduit rmc intermediate metal conduit imc flexible metal conduit fmc liquid tight flexible metal conduit lfmc electrical non metallic tubing ent and the last one is rigid pvc conduit so guys one by one we will see first one is electrical metallic tubing emt we will see the first point made up of galvanized steel or it can be made up of aluminum so from this image you can understand better this is the emt EMT conduit. Second point, it can be easily bent using a tool called a tube bender. So from this tube bender, you can easily bend this conduit. Now come to the third point. The tube itself is not threaded like IMC and RMC. This tube, electrical metal tubing, is not uh, self-threaded. We need to thread in this conduit. Now come to the second type, rigid metal conducting RMC. so we will see the first point rmc stand for hard metal conduit heavy weight galvanized steel from this image you can see here this is the rmc rigid metal conduit come to the next point installed using threaded fitting now come to the next point available in length of 10 to 20 ft and there must be threaded on both end of it so this conduit it's come in 10 or 20 ft and this must be threaded now come to the next point this is this conduit is more expensive than other conduit guys now come to the third type intermediate metal conduit imc this metal conductor is threadable but can also be unthreaded and can be used with clamp type fittings now come to the second point made up of steel and can also be coated this is made up of this conduit is made up of steel guys we will see the four fourth one flexible metal conduit fmc we will see the first point this conduit is also known as greenfield which is taken from the name of the inventor now come to the next point it has a spiral construction which makes it extremely flexible so if you see this image you can understand this is the spiral construction so this conduit is easily flexible guys now come to the fifth one liquid tight flexible metal conduit lfmc now we will see the first point liquid tight flexible metal conduit is a special type of flexible metal conduit so this conduit is a special type of flexible metal conduit if you will see the image you can understand now come to the second point the parts that make up the entire lfmc are bond with water so this entire lfmc uh, conduit is a bond with water so water is not enter in this conduit now come to the third point this metal electrical conduit is used for equipment with outdoor unit ac so this conduit is used for outdoor ac guys now come to the sixth one electrical non metallic tubing ent now we will see the first point ent is a thin wall corrugated conduit that is flexible so this conduit if you see in the image this conduit is a very thin and you can easily bend this conduit come now come to the next point it can be bent even without the aid of a special device so this so this conduit you don't need the special device to bend it guys now come to the seventh one rigid pvc conduit so now we'll see the first point rigid polyvinyl chloride pvc means the full form of the pvc is polyvinyl chloride is similar to plastic plumbing pipe so if you see this image you can understand this conduit is similar to plumbing pipe guys now come to the second point and it is installed with plastic fitting so if you want to install this conduit now come to the third point it can be folded after heating 
So guys, if you want to fold this conduit or if you want to bend this conduit, you need to heat this conduit. Then after that, you will bend it. Now come to the next point. It can be burial directly in the ground. Guys, now come to the size of the electrical conduit. We have a different size of the electrical conduit in the market. So in the image, you can see there is a different size of the conduit. The first one is 20 mm, 25 mm, 32 mm, 40 mm, 50 mm, 63 mm, 80 mm, 100 mm, 125 mm, 120 mm. So we have different size in the market. Now guys come to the conduit fitting part and installation accessories. So we have a different conduit parts and installation accessories. The first one is junction box, coupling, elbow, duct spacer, cover plate, exposed box, male bush and lock nut, saddle, screw and fissure. The first one is glue, elbow, this is elbow, this is the saddle, if you see in this image, the, how the conduit is filled from this saddle. This is the saddle, this is the saddle, this is the saddle, and this is the screw and fissure. This is the junction box. We have a different type of junction box. So if you see in this image, this is the one-way junction box, this is a two-way junction box, this is a three-way junction box, this is a four-way junction box, this is a y-way junction box, this is a V junction box. So we have a different type of junction box. Now this is the back box, this is the back box, and this is the junction box cover. Guys, if you want to learn electrical system and if you want to work in reported company, then don't forget to subscribe our channel. Guys, now come to the soft drawing. This is the soft drawing and this is the panel. We have panel here. This is the JB and this is the socket. So we have a different socket here. This socket is loop from each other. So if you see here, this is the panel. From panel, the conduit is running like this and it connects to the socket. Then after that, from this socket, it loops to the other socket. From this socket, it loops to the other socket continuously. So this is the conduit laying. Guys, if this will be on the wall, then it will be a rigid conduit. And if this will be a inside the wall, then it should be a PVC conduit. So from this drawing, you can understand better. This is the JB, this is the JB, and this, all the socket is looped with each other by a conduit. So guys, I hope you understand. Guys, don't forget to subscribe my channel and wait for the next video. Thank you for watching this video.